Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? I was like, you know, let me go get Leo's food and then I'm going to go run my errands and I'm going to do the video. I'm like, no, let me do the video now because I feel like doing it now. And there's a reason for that. So I want to just say something. Ooh, I don't even know how I'm going to explain it. Because here's the thing. This is supposed to be a sequel on its own. Witchcraft Attempts destiny blockages destiny transfers that's supposed to be a sequel on its own however god showed me something last night in the spirit it made me so emotional i was like oh my goodness stuff like don't even start crying don't even start reminiscing on things and all this type of stuff but he showed it to me because my people will perish for a lack of knowledge so he was showing it to me even though i already knew this a lot of this the details that he showed me oh my goodness like I don't even know how to articulate or explain. Like, first and foremost, I'm going to say this. When you come from a bloodline where people are being taken over by a reprobate mind, it's like you can oftentimes get caught up in the illusions, right? Until 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 you finally find the holy spirit as in like not religiously as in like you had your encounter with the holy spirit you have your encounter with god and you start to have your personal relationship with god where he can give you specific instructions for your life see the difference between people that have the religious spirit is that like they have an idea of who God is. They don't know God, but they have an idea of just based on reading about God. That's the only bit they know about God. And they revolve everything around their life just according to what is written in the Bible. And they put God in a box. Whereas, you know, yes, God gave us the Bible as reference. God gave us the words in the Bible as reference and to help us on our daily lives. And he gave us specific instructions through the Bible. However, when you have a relationship with God, there's going to be a lot of things that God is going to tell you that is not in the Bible because it's something that is specifically according to his will for your life. You see what I'm saying? And that is where people are missing that relationship to where if everything is just focused on just whatever they read and there's no personal relationship with God and they only have an idea of God, they don't know God, you know, on a relationship level, they're not going to receive specific instructions for their life. They're not going to receive it. As in, it's not that God is not trying to show them. God will try to show them. But because they're clo their mind is closed off, they're because they have placed God in a box, they're not going to be able to be receptive to receive the revelations and the instructions that he is trying to give them. Okay? an example of this you know let's just say that you have you're looking for a job you're like god i don't know which job to pick i don't know which 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 department to apply for and you, you don't want to go into a career that you're not going to be happy in and you want to make sure that this career is according to god's will a person that may be you know that may have that religious spirit or that may not have a relationship with god um, you know, they may just, they may look in the Bible and be like, okay, where does it say in the Bible that God is going to pick my career? Where does it say in the Bible that God wants me to apply it to this location? There's nothing written about it. So therefore I'm just going to not do anything about it. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So whereas a person that has a relationship with God, they will pray about it. And because they're receptive God is now giving them instructions. God will show them a vision of the name of the company. God will even show them the clothing to wear. God will even show them in the vision, um, you know, what day to go and apply for them to get the job. And that's God leading their footsteps. But do you see the difference? Like there's people who are so closed off. They don't want to believe that God can give you instructions that is outside of the Bible and instructions that are also in the bible like god can do whatever he wants but people that don't believe that they limit themselves and then god limits them 
right? And, you know, the point of me saying all this is, oh my goodness, God was showing me something in the spirit. And what he was showing me last night was that there's a lot of people, this is how, how do I explain it? God, how do I say it? This is how a lot of people, their destinies and purpose is literally stolen from them. And it's not just this way. This is one of the ways where you're just stuck in that religious spirit. You put God in a box and because of that, you can't exalt in your life. You can't, God can't expand you in many areas because you are so closed off and closed minded. It's like you've limited yourself and that's a spirit that's not god that's a religious spirit and that spirit has taken hold of many families and it's not just that that is also one of the tactics that witches and warlocks that sit in the church they utilize that to their advantage and they will keep people stuck in order to prevent them from elevating and from really discovering who God is and really building their personal relationship with God where he can instruct them specifically on what is according to his will for their life. Witches and warlocks will try to prevent you from getting to that place with God. And that's why a lot of the times they want you to shun your gifts. They don't want you to acknowledge your gifts. That's why a lot of the times they try to make you think that you're crazy. They try to make you feel like something's wrong with you and they try to make you doubt hearing the voice of God if you hear the voice of God so then you don't want to knock and God can answer it to you right and this is one of the tactics they do to gaslight people out of their gifts so they can't receive these specific types of instructions and oftentimes when they do these things it's because they know that there is a specific calling or destiny on your life and they do this a lot with God's chosen people those who have the ability to hear the holy spirit those who have the ability to dream vision those who they know that can have that direct access however in order for them to have that direct access they have to acknowledge their gifts and they have to be willing to want to utilize their gifts and a lot of the times they have they have to try to prevent you from doing that so you can't have that access to god that direct access so if you don't have that direct access to god how are you going to get warnings how are you going to see what's what's next for you? How is God going to prophesy to you if you don't have that access to God? If you're ignoring everything that is supernatural, everything that is spiritual because you're afraid or because you think it's bad or because you think it's demonic, how are you going to receive these instructions for your personal life? How is God going to even show you your purpose for you to understand it, for you to head towards it if you're ignoring all this? And that's the goal. That's what they want. That's why they do that to you guys because they don't want you guys to acknowledge it. This happens to so much people that have gifts, that have that direct access to God, but because they pulled away, because they closed that door or they limited God or whatever, they don't receive instructions about their purpose and what God needs them to do or their destiny. And they sit and waste their life away. And then their life passes by. And they're like, what am, What did I do with my life? What was I supposed to do with my life? This is how they steal destinies. This is how they steal destinies. And it's not just through this way. Another form of them doing it is through black magic. So if they don't utilize the church and that religious spirit to try to steal your destiny, block your destiny, they will utilize the use of black magic to do it and the lord was showing me last night in the spirit that some of these people they saw your destiny at a very young age and remember not all of them are like witches hidden in the church some of them are just family or they're witches and warlocks but it's not all of them hide in the church there's many witches and warlocks hide in different places right um but some of them saw your destiny and they were trying to steal your destiny. They're trying to transfer your destiny onto them. And when they realized the destinies cannot be transferred onto them, what they did was try to slow you down. Now, this is where it's very, I have to be very specific as to what he showed me. So what he was showing me is the people that realize they can't steal your destiny or they can't transfer it onto them. They tried, there's attempts, but when they realized they couldn't transfer your destiny onto them, 
they decided, okay, because I cannot transfer it, it's not working, I'm going to try to block them from getting to it. And how did they do that? They try to block you from getting to your destiny by trying to make sure that you don't figure out that you have one, to make sure that you don't figure out what it is. If they can prevent you from figuring out what it is, you're not going to head towards it. This is why they start the black ma magic at a young age. Because if they can try to start it as early as possible to prevent you from discovering what your prophecy is, what your destiny is, then that will most likely block you from wanting to get to it. Do you get what I'm saying? So let me give you an example. Do you know how like when people do black magic on you, your dream, you may have regular dreams and you may dream about yourself doing something amazing. Let me give you an example. Like when I was younger, I used to always dream about myself being on stage, singing and all that type of stuff, right? And these dreams were like so vivid. But I had no idea that that was a part of my destiny. I just thought I was dreaming about it. But I always loved to sing. I always liked to write music. I always, that was just who I am. And what would happen is when black magic was done to me, I noticed that I only started having a lot of negative dreams. And that's what you guys will notice. Like when black magic is done to you, all your dreams will be like disturbing. It's like... Yeah, God will send us warning dreams, but there's a difference between God sending us warning dreams versus dreams being tampered with, dreams being manipulated, right? So, and how you'll know when dreams are manipulated, it's like you may have a nice dream and you may be like dreaming something really, really amazing. And then all of a sudden, as you start to feel you're under attack out of nowhere, you just start feeling like some, someone's doing something to you, you'll notice your dream starts to shift, so as you're in the dream, you can feel someone messing with you when using magic, and then you'll start to notice the dream is shifting to something negative, right? So when they do black magic on you, it affects the way you view things in the spirit. It affects the way you see things in the spirit if you are not equipped, as in like you have not been trained, you are not discerned, you are not alert and aware of your gifts, of what's going on. For you to crack the code to understand, okay, they're messing with me. Let me pray against Let me fast against it. See, many of us, we didn't have this type of knowledge growing up. The church didn't teach us about this. Our family didn't teach us about these things. Friends didn't teach us about these things. So a lot of us, were, when we were growing up, we had no idea what these negative dreams were. We had no idea what these weird feelings we were feeling were. Not realizing that these people were using black magic on us and trying to prevent us from seeing prophecies of our destiny, seeing more, because God will give us hints and signs and clues and prophecies to keep, and he'll give us reoccurring prophecies to show us our destiny. But when we're under affliction with black magic, it manipulates the dreams, okay? It manipulates sometimes even the visions, right? And it manipulates what you hear in the spirit too, right that's why some of y'all when you're under attack you'll hear negative voices and then you have to discern god's voice from those voices and of course if you know god's voice you're gonna be able to discern right but imagine someone who doesn't know how to discern imagine someone who doesn't know what's going on with them they're clueless as to what's going on imagine that imagine they don't know what's happening with them they're gonna fall for every trap every plot every scheme because what they lack knowledge my people will perish for a lack of knowledge. People are like, oh, but, you know, um, if you're covered by God, um, then, you know, black magic can't affect you. Um, you know, you know, that's what people say. Black magic cannot kill you if you are a child of God. But it can indeed, it can indeed affect you. If you don't have the wisdom and the knowledge as to what's going on and you ain't praying, you ain't fasting against something because you don't have the knowledge and wisdom on how to do that, it can affect you. If it couldn't affect you, why would God say my people? He's saying his people. He's not saying people outside of him. He's saying my people. Well, what will perish for what a lack of knowledge? This is the hidden wisdom they try to hide from many of us. This is why they don't like to teach it in the church. You'll notice only like the real of the real churches will teach this stuff. Right? Those who are actually equipped. So here's the thing. Because they know that many of us didn't know what's going on. They try to keep it hidden. 
and imagine now all these years you don't know what's going on you just know that everything's falling apart you're not having good dreams or you're not receiving any, anything prophetically about what you're supposed to be doing in life and even if you do you're ignoring it you're not understanding because you don't have the knowledge you don't understand it about your gifts you don't know what's going on and imagine now the person that's doing the black magic or the people that are doing it they know what they're doing they're organized they know your destiny they see your destiny they see your purpose and all of that their goal is to keep you in the dark keep you in the unknown about it the more you're in the unknown about it the easier it is for them and imagine now you go all these years and every time you try to fight and work towards something good, things are failing. Things are falling apart because the black magic is weighing you down. It's draining you. And what happens is when these people realize they cannot steal your destiny, they cannot steal your purpose, they cannot transfer it onto them because it's impossible. Their goal is to try to prevent you from discovering it. And not only that, their goal is to try to wear you down as much as possible for time to pass by so you may get to a place in your life where you're too old or you're at a certain age to where you can't go after that specific destiny anymore depending what it is because most destinies most purposes you can still you know um you can still get to it but there's some careers and some things you got to do from a young age for instance with my situation my mom saw me on stage singing, dancing, performing, and encouraging people. And she, her goal was to block me from getting to that level. And she did it from a young age because her goal was for me, was to attack me with black magic until I get to a certain age in my life where I can no longer do something like that. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like that is their goal to attack you. To, until you get to a certain age in your life to where it's too late for you to even try to achieve that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they know they can't transfer it or steal it from you. So they have to affect all the, all the young years, all the years that are meant to be put towards that specific career, purpose, destiny. And this is why when you question God and say, God, why don't these people stop if I'm not dying? If 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 I, if they're not winning, why don't they stop? Why do they keep persistently pay? Because the reason why they keep paying, even though they're losing, even though they know they're not winning, even though they know they can't kill you. The reason why they keep paying is because their goal is to wear you out during all the important years of your life. So when you get to like the age of 65 or 70, you no longer have that idea that, oh, you know what? I'm going to go on stage and I'm going to dance and perform and sing. Do you get it? So they have to wear you out as much as possible during the important years of your life. And if you have no knowledge and wisdom about this, how are you going to fight about how are you going to fight it? You're not if you don't have wisdom and knowledge. So what are you going to do? You're going to just go move on with your life and just live your life normally being in the unknown as to what's going on this is why many people they end up sitting in the church their whole life and not they have not achieved anything in their life because a lot of these people that allow them to do that a lot of these people that manipulate them into doing that a lot of people were destiny stealers that destiny blockers and not just in the church in general because families do it too friendships do it too but mainly it's families and most of the times these people do it to children of god who are gifted who have purposes it's to steal the most important years of your life and that's why they try to keep you in the unknown as long as possible and if you're not in the unknown and you discover what's going on you start fighting against it this is why they will start paying consistently to make you tired, to make you drain, so you don't work towards it. So now if you're too tired and it's been 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, all the important years of your life that you're meant to put towards that destiny or you were meant, that was meant to take you to that destiny, they have worn you out. That's what they're trying to do. Y'all don't have to believe me, but he showed me that. And the Holy Spirit showed me the spirit that they used. One thing about God is he shows me the spirits that they use. Do you know how many people are mathematicians, are prophets, are authors, are mechanics, engineers, 
extremely gifted. When I mean extremely gifted, I'm not talking about just going to school and learning about it. I'm talking about even without going to school, their mind, the way how God made their minds, the way how God blessed them with wisdom, they can look at a car without going to school and know exactly how to fix it because it's not them fixing, it's the Holy Spirit within them that is showing them how to fix it. It is the gift that God gave them of wisdom. You ever see someone who's so smart and, and they're so good at math and you're like, how did you figure out that answer? They're like, I don't know, I just knew. Like they just get the answers quickly because they're gifted. Do you know how much of them are walking around right now in the, in the psych words like zombies? Medicated? Because someone found out about their destiny, someone knows about their destiny, they know that, wow, this person was supposed to be inventing an electric car, for example. This person was supposed to invent an electric car or this person is going to have the, the next biggest invention that's going to make them a, a millionaire or a billionaire. And it could have been their family member that knew about this or someone around them that knew about this and then they ended up affecting them with black magic, messing up their mental, their mind, sending spirits to torment their mind. And because they're, they're, they lack knowledge, they don't know what's going on with them, they're running around like a headless chicken, scared because there's a spirit tormenting their mind and they're saying every single thing they're hearing in their mind and then before you know it, they're putting a psych word. Oh, you have schizophrenia. Take this medication. It'll make you feel better. And because they didn't know how to fight against it, they don't know how to war against the spirits. They don't know what's going on. They're down in that medication. Now they're dependent on that medication. Now every time they go through that attack, which they call episodes, they down the medication. And then guess what? It's a repetitive cycle like a hamster wheel. When do they get to a certain point in their life when they figure out what's going on? They fight against it, pray against it, and get to that destiny. It's kind of hard for them to do that if they're always in a psych ward. Right? I'm just using it as an example to show you how serious this is. And they do these things around the most important years of a chosen life to rob them of their destiny or to block them because they know they can't steal their destiny the transfers don't work so they have to block them imagine someone that was tormented by a spirit and there was black magic done to them to either land them in jail, either get them to commit suicide, either get them to, to, to harm someone, either get them in the psych ward, get them on drugs, homeless, on a pole, or prostituting. This is These are all things that come from black magic. When you see people have doing certain things for a long period of time, it's not always they just made up their mind to do that. Some of these people have destinies and people know about their destinies and they have to manipulate their mind and manipulate things with black magic to get them to get to, into these specific positions where they're robbed. Now they're on drugs. It's hard for them to get off drugs. They're on the street on fen phenylalanine or on cocaine or on heroin. And they've been on it for, for, the, for the most important years of their life. Those years where they were supposed to be working towards that destiny. See, only y'all with the ears, y'all going to understand what I'm saying. Because not everybody's, not, not everybody's going to understand this, and that's fine. The Lord showed me what the spirit looks like. A lot of the spirits that these evil practitioners use, not all of them look like demons. Some of them look like actual humans, but in the spirit. Not all of them look like demons. Like when I saw the spirit of obesity and God showed it to me, it was like a big giant. It looked like a regular human, but it was a giant. And it had the big, 
the belly was hanging down the arms were big he was eating and then all of a sudden he threw the food away started running and started losing away as he was running and that was a giant that god was showing me that's the spirit of obesity god showed me the spirit of a destiny block it was a female spirit last night he showed it to me and this female spirit looked like a human but it wasn't a human so these practitioners have to summon up these spirits and they have to use these spirits. They have to give these spirits commands and instructions as to what they want done to that specific person. God showed me this last night. If they can't steal your destiny or transfer your destiny, their, their goal is to block the most or try to hinder you at the most important years of your life. Because if you get to a certain age, you may end up giving up on that specific goal or dream or purpose or something that God wants you to do. Or it may be a situation where, you know, you can no longer do it because you're at a certain age and there's a limit. You get it? So I want to share this with you guys. Because it's very deep. I want to share this with you guys. I want to go in a circle. I'm supposed to buy some stuff. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.